comic strip Tales of the Eagle Force. Stories you can act up with die-cast metal Eagle Force action figures, each sold separately. There's Captain Eagle and Talon. You can pretend KO is a judo fighter. Turk, a strongman, and Sergeant Brown, a demolitions expert. Boom! And this is the enemy, General Mamba. Destroy the Eagle Force. Head of Riot, plus Baron Von Chill, Beta Man, and Shock Trooper, each sold separately. Captain Eagle, KO, Turk, and all Eagle Force figures, each sold separately by Nego. Today's review will be on the Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys. Riot vs. Eagle Force. And this is for Hornet Assassin. Now, I don't know if that means he's an assassin named Hornet, or maybe he just really doesn't like those bugs. Ah, who knows? But you know what? He looks awesome. Now, as far as I know, this is a totally new character for the Eagle Force new updated collection. And man, oh man, does it get any cooler looking than that. He is awesome. So yeah, man, I am very, very, very happy to add this one to my collection. Looking at the back of the package, and you'll notice that they show off some of the figures from Series 4. So let's check them out. There's the man of the hour himself, Hornet, Assassin, Riot, Pilot, Vulture Squad, Air Combat Specialist, The Cat, Espionage Expert, and Eagle Force Trooper, Arctic Operations Specialist. Below that we have Jack Frost, Arctic Operations Officer, Riot Commando, Desert Infantry Operative, Eagle Force Trooper, Wilderness Operations Specialist, and Agent Grimm, Mercenary. Looking at Hornet's bio, it says, A ruthless assassin, hand-picked and trained by K.O. himself, the boy who would be known as Hornet was one of the most accomplished young warriors K.O. had ever seen. Training him from a young age, K.O. formed a strong bond with the young man, committing himself to not just training him physically, but helping him mentally get over the tragic events that took his parents from him. However, Hornet was a difficult young man, infatuated with ancient and arcane combat tactics many would view as horrific today. And eventually, his obsession with the darker corners of martial arts pulled him and Kao apart. Kao never realized just how far apart until Hornet joined the side of Riot and became their personal assassin. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! Yeah, it definitely sounds like he pulled an Anakin. It says Hornet. Oh, and look at there, they misspelled Anakin. No, wait, that says Assassin. And there's a quote from K.O. that says, One of my finest students, and one of my most humbling failures. There's only one way I can make this right. Whoa, look out, he's gonna chop off your arm, your legs, and leave you by lava. Oh, run, run, Hornet! Oh, wait, you're a Hornet! Fly, Hornet, fly! Oh, hold on, bad idea. Oh, too late. Mm, sorry. I just love the fact that not only are they making some of the classic Eagle Force characters, but they're also coming up with new ones like this. This is awesome. So I say we waste no more time and I say we open it! So here's Hornet fresh out of the package and he looks awesome. So good in fact that you might not even notice that from his boots all the way up to his collar, that's just a Captain Eagle body repainted. And the reason why I know that is when you take off Captain Eagle's vest, he had those little ridges down his sides as well. And that's all right by me. Now that head sculpt is totally new and looks awesome. Another thing that's awesome is if you look at his forearm right there, he actually has like a yin yang symbol right there. And that is cool. And that tattoo was so nice. He got it twice. So yeah, he's got it on the outside of his forearm and on the inside as well. He must think he's Randy Orton. Looking at him from his right profile and working our way down his sleeve and you'll see he has the Riot logo there and that looks awesome. Other than that, he doesn't have any tattoos on this arm, but he does have kind of like gloves that are rolled down a little bit and that is so cool. Looking at the figure from behind and I notice he's got a hole in his back for a backpack. Now, I never noticed that these figures had holes in their backs, but that's usually because most of them are wearing vests. So I guess underneath the vest, they all have a hole for a backpack. So that's kind of cool. 
Working our way down here, you'll see that he's got the Captain Eagle legs. And these are the exact same color on Captain Eagle with the yellow holster and stuff like that. So yeah, it's exact same. See his tattoo over there, and that's really cool as well. Another little detail that you might not notice upon first glance is his skin tone is just a shade darker than the other figures. They're a little bit more paler than him, so yeah, that's pretty cool as well. As for his accessories, they come in that little clear plastic bag as well, and I already see a problem. Like all the other figures, he comes with eight extra hands. These grabby hands, these weapon-holding hands, these weapon-holding hands, which look identical to those hands, and two fists. His one and only weapon is this little handgun here, which you would assume that he'd come with martial arts weapons or something, a sword or something, but apparently the evil of martial arts means grabbing a gun. But how can he grab it, you say, because he doesn't have trigger fingers here? Well, that's because the hands he comes equipped with have the trigger fingers. Now, you'll notice he has trigger fingers for left and right, which means he can hold the gun lefty or righty, but it would have been cool to come with two guns so you could have him double-wielding guns, John Woo style. But like I said, I see a problem, and that's because he's wearing these little half gloves. And none of these hands here came with the gloves painted on. Now that would have been cool. Now obviously they're in the right skin tone, but it would have been so awesome to get them painted like this. Oh well, missed opportunity. And just like the Captain Eagle figure, you can put his little gun in the holster on his right thigh. So, how does Hornet look standing alongside of the rest of my Eagle Force figures? Well, I'd say he looks pretty darn awesome. They all do, in fact. And if you look carefully there, you'll see the skin tone difference between him and the other characters, and that is really cool, because I love variety in figures like that. That's awesome. Now, I love having two Riot Agents and two Eagle Force guys. This is so cool, and man, I love them. So, there's my review of the Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys, Riot vs. Eagle Force, <gasps> Hornet! And man, he looks awesome. Like I said, this figure is almost, what, 80% reuse? But honestly, I don't care. He looks so good, and I love him so much. And now that I have two Riot Troopers and two Eagle Force guys, I guess my next review will have to be on... A mercenary. So until next time, tune in for more! Can Captain Eagle fight off General Mamba? It's up to you. When you're in command of the Eagle Force. Foo! Reviews! <laughs> hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews. And I'm out!